Hello, Leo. It looks like a cycle of so much change is actually going to lead to a beautiful, rewarding connection. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Leo Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Please excuse my voice. I am getting over a cold. I sound much worse than I feel. Okay. You hold the key to an awakened life. Yes, you do. Number 41, reduced to a 5. Set yourself free. Ooh, liberation energy. It's my favorite. Breadcrumbs of bliss, number 11. Number of mastery. Change and mastery. Heed your pleasure. Principle. Hmm. Excuse me while I grab my cup of tea. Hmm. There's a cycle of change that actually took a lot out of you. But it's going to restore you in a way that you don't see yet. This new version of you is going to be, I know it's going to sound cliche, but the future version of you, the next version of you, is going to be so much stronger to handle life moving forward versus the version of you that had to go through so much change. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. There's a lot of reward and abundance energy around that, around that mastery. We're feeling we're going to see this cycle of change. Show me what's going on with Leo, please. Show me what's going on with Leo. Show me what's going on with Leo, please. You're just going to be so much more of yourself than you ever were. It's just, it's just beautiful. The chariot underneath, that's cancer energy. Oh, sorry. High Priestess card of Pisces. She's come out a lot. The sun, Leo energy, the emperor. Aries energy, page of swords. King cup, Scorpio energy. Hierophant card of Taurus. Nine of cups. Mmm, someone's watching you. For whoever it is that's going to be traveling more, um, this, this, this is a person you're not speaking to um, because the high priestess is silent. Um, whoever it is that's going to be traveling more, like this connection held you back from doing that, for example, okay? Um, whoever it is that's going to be traveling more, they're, they're, they're going to watch you, whether it's social media or whatever, they're basically going to watch you having a good time. You may have no idea this is happening. Well, you do now, <laughs> All right? You do now. Um, while you are having adventure, it's coming up as having adventures. While you are having adventures with the chariot travel, um, they're going to see you living a very good life. Okay. Reading this is you. This is them. This is the situation. So we have Leo, Pisces, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, for those keeping track. Okay. Um, they, are, they, are, they are definitely keeping an eye. Okay. Um, what's interesting is that um, connection with you is something that they've always wanted. So why did it not? happen and it's not that it didn't happen but it's that it's now radio silence between you so something either happened or didn't happen hmm. there's something here where you gave yourself permission to move in the world differently okay it could have been this change that sparked it sure um it's kind of like you decided to take the high road away from this 
and here they get left with what they think they want what they think they wanted interesting okay we're gonna find out about that <laughs> we're gonna find out about that hmm there's something where they thought that they would be clever when it came to connection with you it ended up backfiring interesting this person got what they think they wanted and the person that they're with got what they wanted which is this person that fills in a lot of gaps <laughs> hmm this person is a taker a siphoner of resources Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's get into the situation and start expanding on this. I bet the plot's going to thicken. <laughs> Show me the details of the situation, please, the High Priestess. Ace of Wands. Judgment. Four of Wands, Knight of Swords, Empress, there you go, Sis, Card, Taurus, and Libra, Ace of Cups, they're on the bottom. So, you got the bright idea to stabilize your energy somewhere else. <laughs> Again, this is coming across as high road kind of vibe, because you are becoming an, the Empress as a result. Like, don't throw a fit, don't burn the bridge, don't do, and just... Make the choice of the path you want to go on. Don't worry about any of this and get out and just go. Because of that, transformation for you was inevitable. Okay, securing your divine feminine energy. Good job. Good job. I'm not saying this wasn't a hard thing to leave. It probably was, especially if the third person was involved or technically you might have been the third person. Mm. the universe did help you with this to make the transition a little bit easier the universe did help you exit there was some sort of relief here when you when you were presented with that sign from the universe that helped the, make the transition easier there was that sign of relief from you like alright I'm out of here let's go I thought this was going to be hard nope Okay, and then you've maintained radio silence. Look at you. Show me the sun, please. Show me the sun. Yeah, you're having a great time. King of Wands, Leo Energy, Ace of Cups. Hmm. So as you're going and having all kinds of fun, you're drawing some serious attention, which I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> because there is a new cup of love in your in your sights as you are having adventures there is a cup on the path to adventure it took some time to unload this but once you did it's like it's like a um a dog where someone left the back gate open. You're just running like a bat out of hell. <laughs> just like, yay, it's open, go. And you're more focused on the good than whatever this brought you. Okay, which is good. That's, that's fantastic. Show me the page of swords, please. Two of coins. Mmm, hang man. Okay. So they're not entirely sure. They're not entirely sure. So they're not the only ones watching you. This person is too. Hmm.
Okay. So you have an audience. Why are they watching Leo so closely? Okay, so this person doesn't want you in any close proximity of their Ten of Pentacles with this person. Okay, they, they don't... They don't want you to mess up the good thing they've got going. Because then they would have to deal with change that they don't want. Okay. Show me the Hierophant, please. Show me the Hierophant. Ace of Swords, Five of Wands, Devil, Card of Capricorn, King of Swords under the Neath, Aquarian Energy, seeing it clearly now. Okay. Hmm. You could have had a dark night of the soul here. If this was that kind of connection. Okay, if it was if it was only kind of deep kind of soul bond, it could have triggered a dark night of the soul for you. Because this feels more like um a battle in the dark. Okay. Finally seeing your way out of it. <laughs> Excuse me. But nevertheless, a battle in the dark. Hmm. Huh. I mean, you won. That's what matters. So sometimes when we get into situations like this, where it is a third party, it triggers it triggers wounds, like a third party wound, um, that's linked to self-worth problems. Okay. It's something that needs to be handled, assessed, handled, healed, processed. So we can grow. This is a mighty big change. Okay. Um, because most people stay in this cycle. You you did not. You were able to see it. You were able to see your way out of it. Which is awesome. So congratulations. That's 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 something you should celebrate. Hmm. In this process, you also discovered just how much you could have, if you waited on answers from them, if you waited on them to make a move because they're coming up as the masculine, if you waited and waited, you discovered how much of your power you gave away and how much you had in the first place. This is what empowered this change cycle. It also is what opened up the universe to help your path be a bit smoother. Okay. Because when the universe sees you helping yourself, then it steps in to support you, right? Or if you didn't know that, now you do. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let's get into this side and see what this looks like. Let's start with the Emperor, please. Aha. Uh -huh. So they've got a they've got a blocked heart chakra. Um Emperor again. So Knight of Wands Awakening, which is the judgment card in this deck, the Knight of Cups Emperor again. They, they are blocking a heart chakra awakening by any means necessary. And it looks like their will is strong enough for them to do that. Or it has been so far. Because they've gotten all the way to the Nine of Wands. Still blocking this thing. Let's see why. Mm. Can you tell me why the resistance, please?
uh-huh they don't want to learn anything new they don't want to learn the truth they don't want to learn what they would have to fix because what it is if they learned what was actually true excuse me in their heart space then they'd have to face it and they don't want to do that permit Taurus energy for those keeping track Leo on the bottom they would have to see it and face it and they don't want to which means there's there's significant there's there's damage there can you show me what the damage is Oof, okay this this masculine was crushed as a child like mentally emotionally crushed yep child again could um could have been used religion could have been used as as the method to do that growing up um there's something about rigid control here okay that has made them a prideful adult that they have so much control over themselves they tried to hold on to you in their way which clearly is not effective at all it's manipulative oh okay it's manipulative so they could have tried to manipulate you to stay or pull some tactics like that in order to guilt you into staying um, they know that losing you is on them they would like to speak to you they know they lost a ton of cups okay um, interesting oh. so they were crushed as a child again mentally emotionally I'm, I'm not seeing physical abuse here but that could be different for everybody okay whoops Let's get into this King of Cups. So the person that they're with got rid of you on, helped get rid of you on purpose. They helped get rid of you. They helped distract this person. Okay, enough to where their attention would have to be drawn back here and turned away from you. It was done, it was done, okay. They could have distracted them with vices, with partying, alcohol, and the like. They were able to distract us long enough to get this Ace of Cups away. Or for it to die, essentially. There's something in this process, though, that this person figured out that that cup is not going to die. That someone else can't kill the cup. What else did she figure out? Because this King of Cups is coming in across as a shitty feminine. She knows it's a soul bond that the two of you have. And that it's supposed to be, yeah, that he, that he's supposed to move forward with you. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. So why does this King of Cups want this Emperor? Money, lifestyle, comfort, ease. She views him as a trophy. She views him as a trophy. Wow. Stories like this come up once in a while and it just blows my mind. Because it's the whole, why are you with someone else's someone when you know they don't belong to you? You are messing up the person you're with life, the, per the person they're supposed to be connected to, and technically yours too. You're stacking negative karma against you too. And karma, that train is never late. Always on time. Always on time. Show me the Nine of Cups, please. Mm. 
yes, this person is this person is very happy <laughs> with how everything has gone. What does Leo want? Because there there seems there's a new cup over there on the horizon. What is what does Leo want? You want different. You want different. You want new. Yeah, you want new. You don't want any of this. So let's do one final question here before we go on to the extended to find someone new. What's the outcome of this relationship between this emperor and this king of cups? What is the outcome? It will end. It will become increasingly burdensome. Something about what this masculine spends on this feminine is be going to become annoying. And I'm not saying that feminine's costing money is the problem. It feels more like there's no exchange. There's no balance in the connection. So I told you this is someone who siphons resources in the beginning, remember? This is one a person who takes without giving anything back ever. So this is something that's going to look happy from the outside looking in for a while. For a while. Um, possibly another three years. Okay. And um, the truth is it's, it's going to become increasingly burdensome over that time. Where it looks like he's going to be, uh-huh, um, something's going to happen where he actually questions where his heart truly lies. And it's where he gets to a point where he looks at the situation that he's in and, and has to ask himself, is this equal? Is this fair? What's his verdict? Well, he grows up a little. What are we holding on to? Uh, he might try to hold on to your energy a bit. Because it turns out you were what the wish granted all along. But you have an Ace of Cups already on your path. So, okay. You know what? I'll do what I did for the Aries reading. This seems to be a fire sign thing this week. I will go into the extended and I will go into both cups. For those who choose this Emperor, and for those who choose this new Ace of Cups, I will go into both masculine energies. I will see what's going on with them in their current energy, their near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye.